back in January of 2018, we decided our team goal was to train BB and Fiona for a blood draw. Hippos can be really difficult to get blood from because their skin is so thick and dense that um, it can bend or break needles. So one of the best places to get blood from is actually underneath the tail and straight into the middle of the tail. Obviously, a hippo's tail covers their very private parts, and so getting them used to touching their tail and lifting it was one of the most difficult things. And we made sure that they were really comfortable with it and it was always a positive interaction, so we took things slow. So. We started that in order to get a really good view of Fiona and BB's health. Um, we can look at them and see how they're eating and see how they're acting and behaving, but we don't have a true sense of how everything inside is going on unless they become really sick. So getting yearly blood on them is one of our goals, and we started training that hi, back in January of 2018. So we had to teach Fiona to come in, um, target to us, line up, lean in, and get close to the gate so that we can touch her tail in a safe manner. So in order to train this, other than getting them used to being touched and that sort of thing, it took three people. Um, one was the trainer at the front that would actually be rewarding them. Um, one was the trainer that would be asking for the behavior. And then the third person was our vet techs. In order to get Fiona to lean in um, or get close to the gate, we lined up hay bales so that she would target to one of her trainers and have um, a smaller space because the chute that we're training in, BB is almost the entire size of it, whereas Fiona is a, a quarter of the size. And then we began poking her just with my fingernail. Eventually we had a blunt needle. And um, then after we were seeing no reaction from the blunt needle for a few weeks, um, we decided to go for it and on the very first stick with a real needle on the first try to get blood, Amy, our vet tech, was able to do that and we were able to see that they were both very healthy and Fiona's organs did um, actually all grow and um, develop as they should. It's, it's really important so that they have less stress, we have less stress, we can do our jobs better, um, they can live ha healthier, happier lives. Um, so an animal trusting that you are not going to do any harm, you're not going to spook them, you're not going to trick them, is really important. Um, we've always in the past looked at their mouth and their gums and their teeth and their eyes and their ears and everything that we can from the outside. Now that they're both trained for their uh, blood draws, we will do this annually. 